Now, in this technical demonstration, we're going to focus on the zone structure itself. Now, as mentioned before, we do have a new object sitting in our Active Directory environment. So I'm going to open up this technical demonstration by examining the ADUC, or the Active Directory's Users and Computers. Now, as you can see here, we do have a Centrify OU. This is the deployment structure that was created during the installation. Now, as I expand on this, you'll notice that we have a number of components, Centrify Administration, where groups will be held, computer roles, computers, where our objects will be, provisioning groups, service accounts, Unix groups, and user roles. Now we are going to create zones. Now we do have a zone container that's contained within the Centrify OU. In this particular instance, it's not shown. In order to show that, we're going to go to the View menu and we're going to select Advanced Features. Now, as you can see, if I look at the Centrify OU, now I see my Zones container. I also see my Licensing container. So this is the structure that you're going to be using for the Centrify roles and rights, as well as the management tasks that you're going to apply to Active Directory resources. But we're going to use Access Manager to facilitate all of those management components. So I'm going to go ahead and close the ADUC, and I'm going to return to the Access Manager, which we configured in a previous technical demonstration. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and expand the Access Manager. You'll notice that I'm starting with zones. Now I don't have any zones at this point. We're going to create a parent zone and two child zones. So to start with, we're going to start with that parent zone, or what I'll call the global zone. We'll go ahead and start by creating a zone. We'll give it a name. And we'll confirm that the container is correct. In this case, it is. It is the default container. We do have the option to create the object as a container or an OU and we can add in a description and then this will be the default zone type. Now from here we'll click next and then we'll click finish and now we've created our first zone. Now with the zones each zone will have four primary components built into it. Computers, Windows data, Unix data, and authorization. The computers are going to be very similar to computer objects that you would find in Active Directory. The Windows data is where we will find local users and groups. Unix data will be broken up a little bit differently. It will include not only local users and groups, but users of those systems where we establish our user profiles with Active Directory accounts and NIS maps. Authorization is where we'll find write definitions, role definitions, computer roles and role assignments. Now with our zones, we want to make sure that we delegate control. Now in some cases, certain controls will be inherited from parent to child, but in some cases you may have a distributed support team. And from that, you want to make sure that you delegate the right controls to the right groups. So what we're going to do here is we're going to delegate zone control to our Centrify administrators. Now this is a pre-built group that was created during the installation of the Centrify OU. So what we'll do is we'll right click on the global zone. We'll go down to delegate zone control. Now from here, we'll click add and we'll go find the Centrify admins group. This will start with CFY. And as you can see here, there are four pre-built groups. Centrify Global Authorization Managers, Centrify Admins, which is what we're going to choose, Centrify Global Computer Managers, and Centrify Global Unix Data Managers. Now the Centrify Admins group will have access and privilege to all of the management components within the Centrify environment. This is their role. So we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll add it, we'll click Next. Now we can specify what tasks we are going to delegate to this group. Now again, this is the Centrify Admins group. You will learn later 
that you can apply specific tasks to specific groups within the environment. But for this demonstration, we're going to give the Centrify admins the ability to have all tasks. So we'll go ahead and click Next. We will receive a message uh, related to the AZ scope. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to simply click Yes to continue, and we'll click Finish. And that's how we've created our first group and delegated the zone control. Now this is a parent group. Now let's go ahead and create a child group. Now this was done in the same manner. The only difference is we're going to start from the global zone. And as you can see here, when I right click, I'll create a child zone. We'll call this one the Unix zone. and the container will be adjusted accordingly and we'll click next and we'll click finish. Once again, we do want to make sure that we delegate that zone control. So I'll click on the zone, Unix zone. We'll delegate the zone control as we did before. And we'll select our Centrify admins group and we'll select all tasks. Let's go ahead and complete this by adding in our Windows zone. Now, it's important to remember that you can create your zones and name them anything you wish. Just keep in mind that the zone descriptions should be identifiable for your support teams and the administration teams as you are going to be adding computers to these zones that will have specific permissions and privilege. In some cases you may want to set up zones based on the region and not necessarily because of operating system as I've done here. And now as you can see we've completed all of our zones. Uh, I'll expand the Unix zone and as it was in the global zone each zone does have those four core components.